I hope you're ready. Not only is Alphalete dropping brand new Amplify colors, but they're also adding in new pieces to the mix and they're all launching during their birthday sale this month. There's a lot of different colors dropping, I believe 10 all day, but they get a little bit squirrely because to be honest with you, if I were to break it down, it's really just five colors, each with two different shades. There's two versions of red, two versions of tan, two versions of green, two versions of blue, and two versions of gray. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So let's structure this video, shall we? First, we'll go over all of the birthday sale deeds that you need to know. Then I'm gonna be sharing the brief that Alphalete shared with me. From there, I'll be sharing everything that I have. And just so you know, I did get one of every single Amplify new color. This way we could do some comparing, not only with the color shades, but the compression as well. We all know sometimes Sometimes amplifiers can be a little bit different in compression, a little bit different in texture, length, bandwidth, all that. So we're gonna go over all of the differences you can expect. At some point in this video, there will be a giveaway. So let's start with what you need to know about the birthday sale. Alphalete's eighth birthday sale will be going live Saturday, February 18th, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's only gonna be live for 48 hours. That's two days. So it's gonna be ending Monday, February, what? So it's gonna be ending Monday, February 20th. This is gonna be a site-wide sale. Everything's gonna be 10 to 80% off the original price. Now, based off of their previous sales, I'm gonna go ahead and say that all the new pieces, the new colors, new pieces dropping everything in today's video pretty much, is gonna be 10% off. That's usually how it works. The new items are the least discounted. Now, don't quote me, you know, maybe they'll surprise us, but that's just how it's been. Good news is my discount code GATA does still save you 10% off of your entire order, even during the sale. If you do choose to use it, always be sure to let me know so I can personally show you some love, help support this channel, keeps these videos coming, keeps these giveaways coming as well. So thank you so much if you choose to use it. Something important to note is that all items marked 30% or more will be final sale, no returns, and all orders $80 or more will be free shipping. If you love keeping up with activewear trends from our favorite brands like Al definitely be sure to subscribe. We have a ton new videos coming your way. We're actually looking at some new brands this month. We have Petula, Tala, Astoria, all brands that you've requested. So if you have any other brands you'd like to see, comment down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at this brief, shall we? Let's welcome a brand new piece to the seamless range. We're looking at the ribbed seamless bra. When I first saw these, I thought these were like bralettes, no padding, nothing like that not gym friendly. I was very wrong. We'll get into that when we review it. This definitely has the least color options available than all the other pieces. Right now we're just looking at black, linen, oyster gray, and white, a very neutral palette. Don't get used to seeing this oyster gray. I'm pretty sure this is the only piece dropping in that shade. Some familiar faces. We have the Amplify bra and the Stratus bra. So each Amplify color will have a corresponding matching bra. It just depends what bra you want to go with. The Stratus bra is the one that has a little more length to it with a detached band on the back. And check Check this out. We have a Stratus crop tank that's launching. This is a brand new style. You can throw over your Stratus bra or the Amplify bra, whatever. Not as many options as the full Amplify palette, but they still covered a bunch. The Stratus long sleeve top. This is a new style as well. I'm wearing it right now in the color oak. Amplify legging, okay? Two Amplify shorts are launching. 4.5 inch inseam and a 6.5 inch inseam. The 6.5 inch inseam is a new style. I have some to share with you today. They're also launching a bunch of performance hoodies. The classic full zip crop hoodie is the only one I grabbed. I grabbed a few colors of that one. In terms of accessories, they're also launching men's and women's underwear, beanies, and their Hydro Jug collaboration. That's on this month. Have you been keeping up? They actually partnered with Hydro Jug to create Alpha Elite Hydro Jugs. You have the Poly Hydro Jug, which is made out of plastic, BPA free. I went with the stainless steel Hydro Jug. That's the way to go. That linen ombre, oh my God. Bay actually grabbed one in black as well. It comes with a built-in straw, so you can drink it normally. It's kind of weird because the straw doesn't stick out of the lip here. <laughs> so at first I was like, how do you actually use this thing? So you can suck it like a straw, or you can just take the straw out and drink it like a normal jug. <laughs> This is a 64 ounce jug. The Poly Hydro Jug is 73 ounces. Let's review some of the new pieces that Alphalete's dropping. Right over here, you can find all of my measurements just in case you wanna do some comparing or if you can find them helpful for whatever. I will also have it in the description box as well for you to reference. Everything you see in today's video, leggings, sports bras, hoodies, you name it, is in my true size small. 
I did not size up or down in anything today. Out of the new pieces they're dropping, I have the ribbed seamless bras, the 6.5 inch inseam short, and the long sleeve stratus top. I think the only thing I didn't grab from the new pieces was the stratus crop tank, which I am regretting, but I did want to make sure that I got one of each color in the amplify leggings because that's what I get the most questions on. I got two of these. <laughs> I got the white and the linen color. Honestly, when I first heard about these, I thought these were gonna be like a second skin bralette, something you wear under a shirt, no padding, that kind of thing. To my surprise, when it came in, I was like, dang, this is definitely something I could get away with wearing to the gym. This has enough padding in it where you're not gonna see through and light enough to actually comfortably work out in. So we have a V-neck bralette, two straps, adjustable. You have the plastic pieces to adjust it. Now, the straps are not really stretchy. They're actually kind of stiff, if anything. So for all day wear, which I did wear it yesterday, I saw a little bit of that dig. So for all day wear, I'd say no. <laughs> but other than that, it does feel very comfortable. You have quite the V-neck. And right over the chest, there's a raised seam contour, not a nip seam, where it runs up half to the nip and then stops. This is a full seam going up. I actually think it looks nice. It's, it's a good and a bad thing. You can't wear this under a tight top because you're gonna see it, but at the same time, it adds a little dimension to the piece, breaks it up, and makes it not boring. It's cool looking, and, and then it actually makes it semi-acceptable to wear to the, the gym and not look like a straight up piece of lingerie. You have a pretty long ribbed band going around here. It's very low support, so don't get it twisted. I saw quite a bit of bunching right up here. You can see it in the overlap. I think sizing down might help that. You do have removable bra pads. I'm very grateful for that. I think overall, if I size down, it would fit better. Like I said, not the most comfortable for all day wear, but taking it to the gym, yeah. I'm actually glad to see them mix things up. Sometimes their bras look a little bit bulky, and for somebody like me who prefers low support, this is more of my style. Let's chat about the new Stratus long sleeve. I have this piece in oak, autumn, and white. Very comfortable to wear, super breathable, just like the Amplify leggings. What really caught my eye about this was the super small, intricate detailing. If you look up close, is where you can see the different textures, the ribbing, all of the elements that highlight your physique are here. If you look closely at the bottom, you do have a little bit of a band that cinches in, helps it from riding up. I did notice a little bit of riding up in the back, nothing crazy. If you're wearing the Stratus bra with this, you will see that detached piece. You will notice the white printed logo right here on the bottom. If you grab the white, as usual, it's the black printed logo. There's this design, it's so hard to see, it's so faint, but it's there. It's a Y-shaped design, it's really interesting. You actually see the design on the Stratus bra as well. They did an overall really good job with this long sleeve. One thing to note is that these do not come in every single color of the Amplify. So if you want a full matching set, pay attention to that. Let's talk about the 6.5 inch inseam shorts. Wow, okay, so first and foremost, I have to say when putting these on, this is the length I'm more comfortable with. Not the four inch, not the five inches, nothing like that. 6.5, it's not too long where it's like an eight inch biker almost hitting your kneecaps. This is a really beautiful length for me. This is what I'm most comfortable wearing, especially with the thigh cinching thing, you know what I'm saying? If you've watched my other Alpha Elite videos, when I talk about the shorts, I often size up to avoid the cinching around the thighs. With these being a little bit lengthier, I stuck with my true size small and it was perfect. The only downfall when sizing up in Amplify shorts or leggings is that for me, there's a little more fabric in the front, a little more wrinkling going on, not totally flattering. Sticking with my true size small is just, it just works in terms of the material. There is no cinching, no roll up when squatting. What do you guys think of the 6.5 inch inseam? Comment down below. Last but not least, I wanted to throw the cropped hoodies into the mix because I'm obsessed with them. So I have the white and the linen. I always pick the neutrals when it comes to accessories and things that I throw over sets just to make it easier for me to mix and match. This is good because it'll really keep you toasty, genuinely. I think warming up in this, uh, you're gonna feel it right away. This is something I would wear to the gym, warming up on the treadmill and then take off right away. What I actually love about this crop style is that even though this band right here looks like it cinches in, when actually putting it on, it hangs. So it looks a little bit boxy. It has a naturally oversized fit to it. So if you're in between, you can definitely size down. In fact, you can probably size down anyway if you want it more form fit. No pockets, no thumb holes, nothing. 
I think the length of the sleeves is great. You do have the cuffed band right here, so it'll never just hang down. I have some Alpha Elite hoodies that I wear to the gym to warm up in, and the cuff band isn't tight, so it hangs over my hands. It gets a little sloppy looking, so I'm glad to see they brought the cuff on this one. No heavy hood syndrome, even though this hood is pretty big for a crop sweater. In fact, I feel like there's equally as much material in the hood as there is with the body. It has a lot of density to it, very squishy, very comfy, cozy, and I really do like the lettering on this. It's that gripped, raised, three-dimensional Alpha Elite logo right across. I'm overall really happy with these cropped hoodies, so can't wait to wear them to the gym. I have done many reviews on the Amplify leggings where I go super in-depth, so if you need any additional information, check out my Alpha Elite playlist. I've also done full reviews of the Stratus bras as well, so I'm not gonna go into details with those. Basically, they just came out with new colors. In a nutshell, if you're in between sizes, I would say sizing up would be better if you don't want the detached band to be pinching, then I would suggest sizing up to avoid that if you're in between. But it mostly does depend on your own preferences and bust size. It is time to chat about the new Amplify colors, AKA the reason you're here watching this video. So what we're gonna do is check out the colors in the order that Alpha Elite has them. We're gonna be looking at the rose, autumn, linen, chai, willow, oak, ocean, midnight, shadow, and smoke. In that order, overall with this color palette, they went for very muted, earthy tones. That's for sure. When I look at this as a whole, I mean, I just see earth. I see mother earth. <laughs> they covered each season in this palette, okay? We got winter, we got spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> So remember in the beginning of the video where I said there's really only five colors, each one has two different shades? That's how I'm gonna go through these colors. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the red first. I mean, these are so similar, it's it hurts my feelings. <laughs> what is this? When I first got it, I was like, did I get two of the same color legging? Then I realized, I was like, gotcha. Rose and autumn, okay. Rose is literally autumn just with a white marl breakup. Very faint, but it's there. The Autumn has no marl breakup. It's very solid. So you have to ask yourself, are you a marl girl or are you a solid girl? If you were to ask me, I think I'm more of a marl girl in this particular shade because it gives a little more of that hazy look. I was actually surprised. I'm not much of a, a dusty reddish pink girl, I'm not. But then when I tried it on, I was super in love with Rose. I thought it looked really pretty. I think it's a nice early spring color too. In terms of compression, they're virtually the same thing. If I had to be very picky, I'd say the Autumn's ever so slightly more compressive in the waistband. Probably because it's a little bit darker, but that's just what I noticed. Next color, let's take a look at the nudes they're offering. So we have here, these are very similar, Linen and chai. Chai is a little bit darker. I automatically prefer the chai because the, this just looks like I'm wearing no pants. So straight up, the linen color, the lightest of all of these leggings, are the ones that I felt the least compression in. Around the waistband, everything. If you're in between sizes, in this color, you should size down. These are actually the lengthiest of them all too. These had at least like another inch more than I'm used to. I don't know what's going on with that. Keep in mind this light linen color, you really don't see any contour. This just looks like one solid, very light shade. Whereas the chai, it's a little bit more noticeable. I prefer this color, a little more earthy. The chai pretty much has the same compression as the linen. I just feel a little more secure in this color. <laughs> Moving on to the greens, we have willow and oak. If you look closely, willow has a little more of a yellow tint to it. Oak looks more like a fall green. A little more saturated and dense. It just depends, which do you prefer? Believe it or not, I actually really like the willow. Let's move on to the blues. We're looking at ocean and midnight. The midnight is very, very solid. I felt a ton of compression going on in these and it just overall made my body look smoothed out. Very smooth compared to the ocean. If you look closely, the ocean has a marl breakup. That marl breakup, there's a tint of green going on. So that's what's making this appear more of a teal. The contoured panels are very noticeable in this one. 
And I feel like if you want something a little more solid, more secure, you might want to go with the Midnight. In these blues specifically, unlike the other Amplify colors where I mostly feel it in the waistband, I actually felt some grab around the thighs. And ironically enough, I found the ocean wasn't very cellulite friendly, whereas the Midnight was. This material feels a little bit thicker than the ocean or the other amplifies in general. We're closing the show with the gray shades. Shadow is the darkest color out of all of them. Same amount of compression as the Midnight you just saw and the rose red colors. The shadow surprisingly had less compression, like quite a bit. This compression is similar to the chai and the linen. We actually performed the sweat test on each of these Amplify colors. Each one had 12 squirts on the skin and this is how they held up. These leggings were about 90% squat proof, very squat proof. Better than I anticipated, even for the light colors. The thing to note about the amplified leggings is that the material can tend to be shiny. So in all of these bright lights, and with the shiny material, it can appear to look sheer, but it's not. You can't see through the legging, it's just the way that the material shines. It is that time, Alphalete and I have teamed up to give away three $100 Alphalete gift cards. All you have to do to enter in on this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Alphalete's YouTube channel as well, I'll have them linked down below, and drop a comment with your favorite color from this launch. Some important information to note is that the giveaway will be ending February 15th. The giveaway winners will be contacted directly from this account, Ashley Gata, as a reply to your comment. So please be sure to have your notifications on. Any and all other responses claiming you've won are from spam accounts. I will never, I repeat, never ask you to pay for shipping or for any other costs. This giveaway is 100% free to enter. And if you win, it's 100% free too. If you happen to get a reply that looks something like this, delete it, please delete it. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support with Alpha Lee. I really do appreciate it. It's, it's because of you we're doing this giveaway, really. So other than the giveaway entry, comment down below your thoughts on what's releasing. Tell me what's your favorite. What are you looking to snag, if anything? I have to say, out of all of the colors, for me personally, the top two winners out of all the shades are the Willow and the Rose. Who would have guessed it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Next up, we have Patala. <laughs> Patala. Oh, shit. For the first time ever, we're gonna be chatting about Patula. Tala, Astoria Active. I also have my Gymshark Warp Knit that's on its way, so you can expect a review of that as well. Also, Lots of new Gymshark releases coming this month, so stay tuned for those videos. This is gonna be a jam-packed month full of activewear reviews, just, just so you know. I love you guys so much, thank you for being here, and I'll catch you in my next video.